So, Dr. Vadera, as we know, the Matterhorn study has brought the Darulumab uh, into the conversation for the upper GI cancers. So, how do you see its potential role in involving in this space as compared to the current treatment regimens? Sure. Uh, I think we know that from the initial press release from AstraZeneca in March that um, there's been significant improvement in event-free survival and improvement in pathologic complete response, a.k.a. how much the, the fact that there's no tumor left after treatment. And so one of the interesting things is, you know, we do need to see how the final data plays out. And then we assume it's going to be positive because of the press release that's been released. Um, but questions still remain whether the pathologic complete response rate is translating into an overall survival benefit. That's one consideration. And there is still somewhat of an elephant in the room that this was the Matterhorn trial was a cancer, was a trial of gastric and G junction or gastroesophageal junction cancers. Mm -hmm. So this does not necessarily directly apply to esophageal adenocarcinoma, where we know that blot is the standard of care. So I think that is something that we are going to have to try and uh, reconcile in the world of GI oncology where that fits in. The other thing would be considering later lines of therapy, what do we do with people who hyper progress or progress relatively and recur pretty soon on this regimen? Mm -hmm. Do we continue to use chemotherapy and immunotherapy when they've already received the agents we would typically use mm -hmm. and immunotherapy in the past? So um, there's a lot of excitement as we should because gastric cancer is a very aggressive cancer and with a with a poor prognosis overall. But at the same time, we there are still questions we're going to have to reconcile with and how do we incorporate and use the art of medicine to see how it really plays into um, our practice going forward. Right, yeah. The last ask question was ESOPEC trial. This time it's Matterhorn trial. So we are looking forward to that. Yeah, there's a lot of lot of good buzz and, uh, you know, it's an exciting time to be a GI oncologist with the role of all the <clears throat> targeted therapies and a lot of interesting data coming out. So it's an exciting time to be in our field for sure.